of exercise lectures. So why did I just discover that my stand for my iPad can do this too? You see what I mean? But I let me show you how I usually have it. I usually have it like, like this, right? And then <laughs> I use this little part right here for my pencil but like it can still be used for the pencil but I feel like when you started drawing and stuff it was meant to be used like this so that you can put your iPad like this now I've had this I've only had an iPad for technically almost two years now it's my first time owning one but I had this stand for, I want to say like uh, three or four years because I thought it would be useful if I ever got an iPad and I just used it for my phone in the meantime. But I think this is how you're supposed to use it when you're drawing. Oh my God. I don't know why I'm just discovering this, but I am. And I Can I still put? Probably not. I mean... When it's like I'm still gonna use it the other ways I'm using it. I'm just like I did this on accident and I was just like <sighs> I'm pretty sure this is how I'm supposed to be using it. It'd be so much easier to draw now instead of I mean I can still do the little flip way with the keyboard and whatnot, but I'm just like I'm pretty sure this is how I was supposed to be using it when I needed to draw. Interesting. <laughs>
So, um, I was about to eat my oatmeal, but uh, a package came from me. Um, I believe it's from my friend. It's a birthday gift that I know we're in like February, but it like took a really long time to get here. I think this is the gift because I didn't order anything. So, I guess we're going to find out. I'm going to put my oatmeal to the side. Hopefully, it doesn't get cold. It is a bit of a mess over here. Oh, it's two boxes. Ooh. That is extremely glossy. I've been doing like tiny recordings as you'll see uh, thus far but I haven't done any like long time recordings just because like I had a lot of work to do and I wasn't really in the mood to try to set up the camera and stuff like that and make sure my phone was charged and everything. I got some late birthday gifts <laughs> in February. I know it took a really long time to get here. Um, this mouse pad was from a friend and also this coffee cup. Work-wise, I had a lot of commissions to do, so that took up a lot of time. And then I also wanted to create new posts for my donation page, Buy Me A Coffee. That is also linked in the description below. So um, I wanted to show what I've been working on. So this is one of the chibis that I did. If you go on my donation page, I have a chibi commission out. I plan on working, uh, I plan on setting up other commissions to be available. But right now there are like some personal projects that I want to get done. So I'm just going to keep the chibi one out for a little bit. But if you want to get a chibi pro, uh, profile done, you can just go on my donation page. You purchase it there. You follow the instructions of sending me an email with your details. And then I reply back and uh, tell you how long it's going to take and so on and so on. I also did this fun piece, which was a drawing my style of a little creature. It was a gem creature. I know it was for the pop figure. It's also a competition. I, 
I don't think I won, but I don't really care because I just wanted to draw it because it was cute. So basically this was the challenge was drawing it in your style and that's also on my Instagram. Did I post a time lapse of it on my Facebook? Typically most if not all of my time lapses of my drawing process is going to be on my Facebook page because that's easier for people to see and sometimes I do put it at a part of my Instagram post. I also worked on some sketches in my digital sketchbook. I have her. But, um, I drew her while watching Malcolm and Marie, which was a great movie. And then in the when I finished drawing her, I went straight into drawing Zendaya from Malcolm and Marie because I really like this scene. Um, this right here is just like the first process of it. Um, and I believe I ran out of layers and I didn't want to risk compressing all my layers together because I wasn't sure how I wanted this piece to look. In both time lapse and real time, real time talks about the brush strokes or shadow work that I'm doing or layering or lighting, things like that. This will be my first video from a beginning to end uh, explaining the process, so I hope it's really educational and I plan on doing more like that in the future. Mm Thank you. 